Hello, this is the Sony ZV-1, and this is the Sony ZV-2. It's not called the ZV-2? Well, it should be. And this is called the Sony ZV-1 Mark II. I don't know why, but <laughs> if you notice right away, it's completely wider. And that's what everyone wanted with this camera is the widest lens you can get so you can vlog. So if we're looking at the ZV-1 here, the original one, this is my camera that I own. I use it all the time. And I made a whole video of why this camera is always with me is because I love uh, capturing memories. Like I was always a big videographer, camcorder person. And I'm, <laughs> I'm always looking for the easiest way to capture memories, our own memories. That's, I don't really vlog. I kind of just capture family and life. It's a big day. It's finally up. Today's the only day that ever matters. And this camera, the ZV-1, I found was the best for that. It was always in my pocket or always on a table. But now I could do all that wider. <laughs> now, by the way, this whole video is going to be recorded on the ZV-2. Sorry, the ZV-1 Mark II. <laughs> And I'll show you the audio from the actual camera. Um, either the ZV-1 Mark II or the Mark I. We'll sort of compare the two so you can get a, an idea of if you have the Mark I, do you need to upgrade to the Mark II? Now here are the three biggest upgrades, in my opinion, that work for me. The first one is the lens. This is an 18 to 50 equivalent, and it works so much better for hand-holding, for vlogging, especially if you're traveling because most of the places we travel, you enter the plaza, you enter the, the museum, you enter the cathedral or the temple. And um, the little ZV-1, the first one, just didn't go wide enough. The second one is the little touchscreen is a touchscreen. <laughs> you can now change your controls on the screen, which is a real great upgrade because I've memorized the buttons from behind the camera. So when I record, it's like playing an instrument. I could raise my, uh, my volume, I could change the white balance without looking. I've, got, I've gotten so used to that, that with the ZV-1 Mark II, I was doing the same thing and I just realized, hey, I can touch this little screen right there. <laughs> oh, I think I have product showcase on. We should show you that. Here are my budget reading glasses. Uh, and you can even see my face behind here. Here's one of, the, one of the cool features in this camera. Look, it doesn't get fooled by the glasses, even though my face is there. It knows. Uh, these are like my favorite glasses, but they broke. So uh, when I work on the computer, I look like I'm from the future. You see, it's like they just float on my head. This is quality content. Now, the other upgrade that's very exciting is the microphone. Hey guys, we're out here birding at Garrett Mountain outside of my home here. Isn't it nice? Hey, <laughs> you like? This is the Picture Profile 1, which is the movie one. It seems to look very vibrant, very nice. And uh, with this camera, I don't want to color grade. You know, if I shoot my Sony uh, a7 IV, I'll shoot S-Log3 and all that. But here, I just want to take it out and let the camera do everything. That's the point of this camera. So right now, it is set to bugs everywhere. So I don't like putting a aftermarket microphone on the camera. I think it draws so much attention. I'm kind of not a big vlogger. I'm kind of shy when I go out. And if I want to record, like for example, this Sony a7C actually takes better video. The Sony a7 IV takes better video, but I won't use those on the street. Like I don't want to record myself with those cameras. I just feel like everyone is like, what is he doing? But with this little guy, I feel less, less self-conscious and I feel like I can make YouTube videos with this guy. Okay, so what is it like to vlog on this little camera? Well, let's go to a baseball game. I'm still here, but I'm gonna like use a transition and make it look like
when the Mets hit a home run, the, uh, the apple sort of uh, comes up. So we hope they hit a home run so we could see that. Uh, this is the original Mets mascot called Mr. Met. Uh, if we see the real Mr. Met in the ballpark, he's a little scary, isn't he? <laughs> but uh, they have a more modern Mr. Met, which we sh should see at the ballpark. We're stuck in the little museum because uh, the national anthem is playing. You're not allowed to leave, so. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting. All right, let's go to the game. Okay, that's full. Empty. a little Queen's uh, bodega in the middle of the ballpark. Very cool. <laughs> Let's check out what's in the window. Yeah, gotta have your Goya. Your frijoles. Fabuloso. Seats. Oh. All right, let's go enjoy the game. That was super fun. Okay, I'm back. The Mets won, if you're curious, by the way. <laughs> so that's kind of what it's like to record. I, I love the feature that you flip the, um, the screen open and it just starts recording. A couple other cool features that I tried was the cinematic mode. I actually like the cinematic mode. I'm not a fan of the crop. I wish they would take that off so that you kind of just have that film simulation look just ready to go. Um, but if you try to mix your footage with other stuff, it's gonna be like black bars, no black bars. And overall, it's a win. I would say my, na my main negatives are buy three batteries right away if you're traveling because you're gonna just eat through the batteries. That's number one. Uh, number two for photo, I wish this camera would compete with like the Ricoh GR series where this would be your little pocketable street camera somehow. Uh, but I just don't see, I'm not inspired to take photos with this camera. And so I kind of wish for photo there was just a lit, like it was at the level that it is for video. And the last one is this camera has stabilization, but it doesn't have the regular stabilization that doesn't get rid of this beautiful width. We have stabilization, but there is only no stabilization or you get the little crappy crop. Super arm's length here. Let's see how much wider we can go. What are we losing with the stabilization? Okay. Super arm's length, about that much. You can see my entire house back there. Uh, and so if you really wanna go a little wider, you're going to have to turn off that stabilization. Uh, so maybe you put the camera down somewhere. So uh, this is where a little wireless microphone would be better uh, for this, but yeah, looks great. See, wide. There's the crappie crop. You see it cropped in a little bit more. It's still wider than uh, the, the widest that this guy goes. You know, so here's the ZV-1 at its widest, and here is the ZV-1 Mark II with stabilization put on, active. And you still have a wider, you know, these are exactly at the same distance. So that's the difference. So I kind of see that you leave active on all the time. Come on, Sony, add the regular whoop stabilization. <laughs> you know, so we get full width. That way, if you're not walking, you could at least, you know, get rid of those handshakes a little bit. And then if you are walking, you could put active stabilization on. Uh, but it stinks that if you want to get the full temple, cathedral, skyline, you, you know, you have to turn stabilization off and sort of stay still, I guess. So those are my only three negatives. Overall, it's a win upgrade. 
do you need to upgrade it depends if you want these really great features if you don't have the zv1 it's a pretty awesome camera for capturing awesome memories love your boy mm -hmm. he's so big mm -hmm. all right i'll see you guys next time